In today's video, we're going to take a look at the 2014 Nissan GTR Black Edition. Specifically, in today's video, we're going to be comparing the differences between a Black Edition and a Premium Edition. So over here, we have a 2014 Premium. Same year, this one has about 30,000 miles. And then the Silver one has about 24,500 miles. So starting up front, they both look pretty much the same. The one on the right does have a few aftermarket accessories. So you can see the front ends. They both have the LED daytime running lights, giving it a nice and aggressive look. The red pinstripe looks really sharp on the premium, of course that is aftermarket. And then this one does have a PPF film, which is a paint protection film. It may not really come off on camera, you might be able to see a line on the hood right there, but the whole front end is covered in the film to protect it from chips and scratches. It does a really good job. And then as we look at the paint on this car with the LED lights, this is the super silver paint job. This is a more rare paint option for the GTR, it's actually a four stage paint, it's like a $3,000 option from brand new. Uh, this car absolutely stunning condition so one of the biggest differences up front you'll notice between a premium and a black edition are the wheels these have the raised wheels on them you can see the two-tone design we have a polished machine lip and then a dark gray in the center and then as we make our way over to the premium edition you get the standard premium edition wheels of course a little bit different design to them so you can see a good look at how everything looks side by side And then another big difference as we make our way to the rear end of the car, one of the coolest differences I would say is the dry carbon fiber spoiler. This has a really, really nice look to it. It's a matte finish to it. But you can just see how nice the weave is in this carbon fiber. And as we get up close to it, you can see just how nice that is. And then as we make our way over to the premium edition, all the premiums are gonna have a body colored spoiler. Of course, this is gonna be finished off in the same gunmetal gray that this car is finished off in. Still gives it a very nice look to it. So we can just see how that obviously looks. And then coming over, you can see the contrast with it. Looks very, very cool. And that about sums it up for the exterior differences. Basically the wheels and the spoiler is gonna be the biggest difference. So now we'll make our way to the interior, which we get another nice difference. So opening up, all the black editions are gonna have this interior, a black leather design with a bright red trim. So we can take a look at the door panel. We have black leather and then bright red for the door handle. And then coming in, not only do these have the nice trim on the seats, these are Recaro bucket seats, slightly more aggressive than the premium seats, as you will see in just a second. But we have the perforated red leather along the top, perforated leather in the centers with Recaro. You can get a good look at how the bolstering looks. And then another look at all the leather design. You also get the bright red leather on the steering wheel on the top and the bottom. And you can just see how good of condition this car is in. It's really hard actually to find a GTR in really good condition. This thing is super clean. We have the bright red leather on the shifter knob and then black leather everywhere else. And then this one has black seats for the rear. But that is a quick look at the bucket seats. And then coming over to the premium. Now this car also does feature the upgraded leather interior package. This one is finished off in the dark red color. So it does have it on the entire door panel like you can see, as well as the grab handle. You can get a good look at the seats for this one. So this is more of a dark reddish orange color. The bolsters are not quite as large on the back. It has a different pattern on it being the upgraded leather interior. And then if we look at the driver's seat, you can see how that one looks. It kind of extends a little bit. But overall, just a little bit smaller looking bolsters will get another good look. So you can see how those bolsters look. Coming back right into these ones. These are just slightly more aggressive for a tighter feel for more performance driving. And then back to here. Part of the leather package also gives it the dark red leather on the shifter, as well as the e-brake. And then it has it on the steering wheel as well. The standard interior is going to be a solid black or solid light gray. But you can get a good look at the seat design. And those are pretty much the main differences between a black edition compared to a premium edition car. Overall, the differences are pretty subtle. I do like the contrast with the black edition. It gives it just a really clean look. Definitely very sporty having the contrast with the two-tone wheels. Especially on the super silver, it looks really nice. Having the polished lip, which matches the silver really nicely. And then the dark on the wheels, along with the spoiler, gives it a really clean look. 
So that about wraps up taking a look at all the visual differences between a black edition and a premium edition Nissan GTR. Overall, these things are the ultimate daily drivable supercar. This car has been daily driven all year. Absolutely a beast to drive. And then with this silver one sitting here for sale, this is a perfect example for a Nissan GTR. up today's video hope you guys all enjoyed taking a look at a black edition nissan gtr comparing it to a premium this car is in beautiful condition all the information for it is listed in the description below definitely check it out and subscribe to our channel for more detailed videos of many more cars in the inventory